The rising cost of college affects nearly every student and their families. Covering the cost of college tuition, room, board, and books becomes even harder with the country in the midst of a recession. This means that students and their families look more diligently for ways to save money. For instance, some students have opted to buy their books online rather than purchasing them at the local bookstore. Over the past 10 years, the online textbook industry has grown into a thriving market. There are many websites now that cater exclusively to college students. To combat the growing online book sale industry, book publishers bundle packages and publish new editions more rapidly. The publishers figured it out that the used book industry were growing so rapidly. So be able to combat, I guess, uh, they start publishing their books with new editions much, 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 much uh, faster. It used to be every two or three years the book to be uh, have a new edition. Now it's almost every year. But who could blame students for seeking out bargains online? According to the Governmental Accountability Office, the price of textbooks increased at a rate that more than doubled the rate of inflation over a two-decade span dating back from December of 1986. Tuition increased by an even higher rate during this time span. Despite these numbers and decreased spending due to the recession, college bookstores haven't been hit as hard as the numbers would suggest. One thing that may be helping college bookstores brunt the effects of increasing internet sales and decreased overall spending is the fact that during a recession, college enrollment increases. Using our very own school as an example, we can see that enrollment numbers for Georgia Southern in fall of 2008 increased by 5.4% over the fall 2007 numbers. This represents the largest increase since 1991, which, as it just so happens, was also a recession year. Bookstores do provide students a few advantages over online booksellers. They are more convenient, provide better customer service, you can examine the condition of books before purchasing them, and there is a much better chance of purchasing the right book. While buying books online may be a cheaper short-term solution for some students, buying books at the bookstore benefits all students in the long run. Uh, the university store is a part of the auxiliary services. Our profits from these organizations uh, goes into a, a big account and it pays from fixing the streets to buying more buses to fixing up the dorms, the stadium upgrades to all the road constructions and the land purchases. We are trying to keep the tuition or helping the tuition to stay Average. same or in a, in a lower by uh, preventing state to spend tax money the things that we can be able to buy and purchase and fix ourselves. But as the economy continues to falter, people will continue to look for bargains. This doesn't bode well for college bookstores that will have to compete with increasing internet book sales. This has been Roosevelt Hall for ENN.